pretty special night. I came up here to celebrate that this channel now has 10,000 subscribers. What I decided to do this evening was cook a pizza. I've got the little firebox stove going here, and I've got a pizza in here. We're gonna pull it out of the oven and see how it looks. This is a special episode that's not really in sequence with the rest of my riding solo project, which you're, you're watching now, or hopefully you are. But I decided to do something a little different because today is a really special day. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but this channel finally crossed the 10,000 subscriber threshold, and I think that's pretty cool. So thanks a lot to you guys for supporting this channel and watching the programs that I'm putting out about motorcycle travel and adventure and camping and exploring the backcountry of the USA. So I wanted to do something special for this 10,000 subscriber threshold, and the thing I thought I would do would be to go on a short 24-hour adventure to a 10,000-foot mountain peak down here in southern Arizona, and that would be Mount Graham. And the road that you take to Mount Graham is south of Safford. It's off of Highway 191, and it heads west up to the summit of Mount Graham. It's an out and back. So you come up here, you turn around, and then you go back. But that said, it's a 30-some mile road that is twisty and turning, lots of switchbacks, some beautiful views. And the best part is that it cools off. It cooled off about 30 degrees as I was coming up here last night. If you're looking for a really fun, twisty, turny road that gets up into some high country and you're ever down here in southeast Arizona, Mount Graham is uh, something worth checking out. This is a really cool place. I never realized that the campground up here was as nice as it is. And when I say nice, of course, it's got what you would expect at a Forest Service campground. There's campsites with picnic tables, there's toilets, there's trash removal up here. And what really impressed me is the stonework. Someone a long time ago put a lot of work into building out these campsites. They're all kind of framed in really nice stone circles. So it's just a really beautiful, nice, kind of remote campsite. The lake itself isn't very big, it's a tiny lake, but it's a lake. And down here in Southern Arizona, we'll take all the water we can get. It looks like the kind of place that people would come from the surrounding lowlands to escape the heat, get up here and go fishing on the lake or boating or swimming.
get out the firebox stove, we're gonna use this to cook pizza tonight because it's a special night. Lots of dry stuff on the ground here, so it shouldn't be too hard to start a fire. All right, it seems like the little firebox is going pretty well. We're gonna get that down to a nice bed of coals, and then we'll throw a pizza on the top, and we'll put some coals on the top of the pizza to cook the top of it as well. All right, so this is the pizza dough here. I'm gonna put some olive oil in here. Now, I'm gonna put the pizza crust. I did bring some paper towels just for this occasion. Put some mozzarella cheese on there. And last but not least, we have some sliced olives. I'm gonna put a couple more sticks in here. That one's a little big, but it will work because now I'm gonna put fire sticks on the top here. We're going to set the pizza on there. Just like that. And I'm going to clean off the other plate and then I'm going to set it on the top with some coals on top of it. We'll see how that works. And there we go. As you can see the pizza is in its little oven getting cooked and we have some coals on the top of it to cook the top of the pizza. And this is definitely an experiment, but I really hope it works out because I tell you what, I'm darn hungry. Put my gloves on here because I know we've got some hot metal here. Are you ready for the big pizza reveal? Here it goes. Ooh, I can hear it sizzling in there. Wow. Oh my God, that looks awesome. Oh yeah. All right, let's do it. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's not bad. I think we have a winner here tonight. That was pretty easy to cook. A little dough, some pasta sauce, some cheese, some mushrooms, some black olives. Damn, that's good.
So this is what I'm going to have for breakfast today. Brought up some bacon and eggs and hash browns. I froze the bacon before I left, but it's thawed out now. I packed my egg up really good so it didn't break. And there's some leftover mushrooms and mozzarella cheese from the pizza last night. It's got to be about noon now, so I definitely have not been in a rush on this little adventure. And I absolutely appreciate having the, the, the time and no schedule out here on my own to just wake up and take it easy and explore and take pictures. And I'll still get back home in a few hours and it'll be, you know, more or less a 24 hour adventure. So that's kind of the point of this little short video is to just show you what you can do um, close to home getting away for just a day, one night, camping out, and how you can experience the benefits of, of places like these uh, without having to take a really, really long trip. I still have this orange left over from my cocktail last night, so thought I would make a little fresh squeezed OJ. <clears throat> there, that's a little bit, a little bit in there. Maybe I'll add a little bit of water here. Give it just a little more volume. There we go. Looking good. Look at that melted mozzarella cheese. Got an egg in there and some bacon. I'm just gonna mesh it all up together here. This is one of the advantages of riding solo, even on a one night trip, just like this one, is that you can take the time to cook up a longer meal, stay at the campsite longer in the morning, have a big breakfast, 
maybe walk around, do a little exploring, check out a magical place like this one. And that's generally a little bit harder to do when you're riding with a bunch of other people, particularly if you're on a big group. I know if, I, if this was a BDR trip and I was riding with that group and doing the movie, um, we would have been on the road, hopefully, a couple hours ago because we have an itinerary and we have destinations that we have to get to and we have a schedule and things like that. And so there's a lot of pressure when you're in that scenario to get on the road and get riding and make up some miles. But when you're on your own, you can just take your time as long as you want to do something like this. And I encourage you to give it a shot. Get out there on your own, ride your motorcycle to some really cool places, wake up and just plan on spending the morning there, cooking a breakfast, maybe go swim in the lake or the river, do a little hike around the camp area. Just, just kind of like spend some time in one place and then get on your bike and spend a great afternoon riding. And once again, thanks a lot for everyone that's been following along with the Riding Solo project. There's a lot more of those videos to come. Um, I really appreciate your comments and all the feedback that I've been getting on that show, but this is just kind of a, a special video on the side to celebrate 10,000 subscribers. So thanks a lot for being part of this, and we'll see you down the road.